how to program a Castle ESC by using the transmitter. Well, this is my step-by-step -step guide to showing you exactly how to program any Castle ESC just using your radio now, transmitter. Now, you can also program your Castle ESC using a field programming card or a Castle Link cable both of which need a PC they won't run on a Mac um, I bought this thinking I got around the problem however it needs a software update and in order to update the software I need a PC to run it so I still can't do it uh, using my Mac so on to program it using a transmitter and the very first step to do is turn your transmitter step on step number two is to plug the battery into the SC but do not turn the receiver on as yet so simple as can be making sure our receiver is on. now sorry for the slightly boring picture of the manual again but the next step is to hold full throttle on your transmitter on and turn the ESC switch on the ESC switch will go the ESC will go through a sequence of lights blinking uh, green the ESC's voltage cutoff is set uh, then ESC will blah 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 anyway uh, the important bit being there will be a sequence of four rings and the red LED will blink Keep holding the trigger for six to eight sequence. There will be a sequence of four rings and the yellow LED will blink. The yellow LED will blink. You are now in programming mode. Return the trigger, trigger to neutral. So I'm gonna zoom right on in to the ESC. Now for the all important next step, with the full throttle applied on the transmitter, I'm gonna turn the receiver on and wait for what should be a series of yellow light, a yellow blinking light. We've gone to green blinking light. all being well right the it's now flashing yellow you can release the trigger on your transmitter you're now in program now all the changes you can make to the thing uh, are in order so you've got brake reverse type with three different options on here uh, option one with reverse which is the default which is we went without a problem there option two with without reverse option three crawl reverse moving on option two we've got cutoff voltage that you can set there for your lipos it's maybe slightly different for each Castle ESC, by the way, but the same principle will apply. Brake amount. This is the key one. You are fitting a Castle ESC with a hotter motor. Be aware, the braking power is 50% by default, not 100%. So that's where I want to be changing mine uh, to be on there. Option four, we've got drag brake. So we've got various different options on there for crawlers. Option five, motor type, brushless, brush reversing, brush tie power. Uh, etc. Some Castle Motors have slightly different options to this, but the principle I'm going to show you is pretty much the same for every for programming every Castle ESC. Okay, now for programming, you will note the ESC light is blinking twice. Once, then a slight pause, then once again. What that means is the first beep is for the uh, brake reverse type. The second beep is for option one. That is absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do in order to set that is going to squeeze the transmitter onto full throttle. Now you see it's beeping twice and then once again, twice, then once again. That is because option it is now the first two beeps are for the cutoff voltage, the second one beep is for auto lipo, which is the default, so that's fine. So, in order to move on to the next setting. What I'm going to do again, pull the yellow throttle lever, wait till it beeps again. No, now it's beeping three times, followed by once more. So we're now on the brake amount. We've got 25% power on there. So clearly, I want to switch that to 100%. Okay, now for changing the braking option, I'm going to press, we're going to do no for that first option. So rather than accepting braking at 25% on option one, we're going to push it away from us. So it's beeping three, again, for the braking power, and two for 25, for 50% braking power. Don't want 50% either. So we're gonna hold it again. So we've got three beeps there, followed by three beeps. So we've got the first three are for the brake amount, the second three are for option three on there, but I don't, I want option four. So I'm gonna press no again on the transmitter, pushing it away from us. Okay, and that is now doing three beeps followed by four beeps, meaning the braking power is set on 100%. So basically, that is what you do, moving through uh, everything on there, simply to, by default, you're simply squeezing the throttle to accept the next settings to move on. And 
So that's how you do it. If you like this setting, you pull it, you pull the throttle on full until the uh, light does its beeping thing, and to go over that, the first number of beeps you get is for the setting specific on there. The second number of beeps is for the option. Simply squeeze the throttle to accept the option or push it into reverse to move on to the next one. If you don't like that one, you press it in reverse again. Move on down like that until you hit the one that you want and then you pull full throttle and that will then move on to the next item to change. Hope that was able to give a brief overview as to how to program your uh, Castle ESC using your transmitter. Um, it is a little tricky to explain. I hope I've got that across quite well though. Uh, any comments or questions on it though, please do ask away and I'll do my best to explain them. Uh, as ever, if you like this video, please share with friends and by all means subscribe if you've not already. Well, if you like our Drifter Maniacs videos, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.